Here I have two signal sources, and I'd like one signal source, the tone generator, to end up on the left channel of audio, and the noise generator to end up on the right channel. Here I'm pointing out that you can specify the duration, the frequency, and the sampling frequency. I have a unit amplitude, which would be the maximum amplitude for the tone, and then an amplitude of 0.5 for the noise source. So I'll begin by placing the simple right sub VI, and this accepts a or an array of waveforms. And ultimately, what we will need to create is um, two waveforms packaged together, one for each channel. I'll create a control for the path, and that's where we can specify the path and the file name of the WAV file that we're trying to create. I would also like to be able to listen to the sound that we're generating while we're still within LabVIEW, so I'll use the Play Waveform Express VI. Let's do a quick tone or test of the device. And as always, if you can hear the sound, that tells you that you've got your sound card properly configured. I'll use the Build Waveform component to convert my 1D array data type into the waveform type. DT is my sampling interval, and I need both of those to build my waveform. Here I'm doing a Click, uh, control, then shift, then click and drag to copy that. Now I need to convert my sampling frequency into sampling interval, so I use the reciprocal calculation there. Next, I need to bundle these two waveforms into an array. So we use the build array node. I'll go ahead and specify a specific name for my wave file. Call that practice.wave. Tone showing up on your left channel and the noise showing up on your right channel.